Good morning and welcome to the Daily Office. I'm glad you could join me. This is morning prayer for Monday, May the 23rd. It's the fifth week in Easter, and the scriptures for this service, Psalm 56 and 57, and Wisdom chapter 9, verse 1, and verses 7 through 18. Open my lips, my mouth shall declare your praise. Alleluia, have mercy on me, God, foes crush me. Alleluia. Psalms 56 and 57. Have mercy on me, God, foes crush me. They fight me all day long and oppress me. My foes crush me all day long, for many fight proudly against me. When I fear, I will trust in you, in you whose word I praise. In you I trust, I shall not fear. What can mere mortals do to me? All day long they distort my words, all their thought is to harm me. They band together in ambush and track me down and seek my life. Repay them, my God, for their crimes. In your anger, crash them down. You have kept an account of my wanderings. You have kept a record of my tears. Are they not written in your book? Then my foes will be put to flight on the day that I call to you. This I know, that you are on my side. In you whose word I praise, in you whose word I praise. In you I trust, I shall not fear. What can mere mortals do to me? I am bound by the vows I have made you, O God, I offer my praise. For you rescued my soul from death, and you kept my feet from stumbling, that I may walk in your presence and enjoy the light of the living. Have mercy on me, God, have mercy, for in you my soul has taken refuge. In the shadow of your wings I take refuge, till the storms of destruction pass me by. I call to you, God the Most High, to you who have always been my help. May you send from heaven and save me, and shame those who assail me. O God, send your truth and your love. My soul lies down among lions who would devour us one and all. Their teeth are spears and arrows, their tongue a sharpened sword. O God, rise above the heavens, may your glory shine on earth. They laid a snare for my steps. My soul was bowed down. They dug a pit in my path, but fell in it themselves. My heart is ready, O God. My heart is ready. I will sing, I will sing your praise. Awake, my soul, awake, lyre and harp. I will wake the dawn. I thank you, my God, among the peoples. Among the nations I praise you. For your love reaches to the heavens and your truth to the skies. O oh God, rise above the heavens. May your glory shine on the earth. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. Have mercy on me, God. Foes crush me. Alleluia. The lesson is from the Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 9, beginning at verse 1. God of our ancestors, God of mercy, you who made all things by your word, you chose me to lead your own people and to act as judge over your children. You instructed me to build a temple on your sacred mountain and an altar in the city where you have chosen to dwell a copy of the sacred tabernacle prepared by you from the beginning. Wisdom is beside you and knows all your ways and was present when you created the universe. She is aware of what is acceptable to you and what is in keeping with your law. Send her forth from your holy heavens and dispatch her from your glorious judgment seat to work at my side and teach me to do what is pleasing to you. She knows and understands all things and will lead me with discernment in everything that I do, guarding me with her radiance. Then my life's work will be acceptable to you, and I will be able to judge your people rightly and be worthy of the judgment seat of my ancestor. 
For how can any mortal know the mind of God? Who can discern the will of the Holy One? Mortal reasoning is faulty, and our plans are shaky. Because a corruptible body weighs down our soul, and our frame of clay weighs heavy, on a mind already so filled with cares. Our best guesses about the things of this earth are only approximate, and we toil to discover even those things which are within our grasp. But who has ever mapped out the ways to heaven? Who has ever discerned your intentions, unless you have given them wisdom, and sent your Holy Spirit from heaven on high? It was because of her that we on earth were set on the right path, that we mortals were taught what pleases you, and were kept safe under wisdom's protection. Here ends the lesson. Now let us pray for the church and for the world. Grant, Almighty God, that all who confess your name may be united in your truth, live together in your love, and reveal your glory in the world. Guide the people of this land and of all the nations in the ways of justice and peace, that we may honor one another and serve the common good. Give us all a reverence for the earth as your own creation that we may use its resources rightly in the service of others and to your honor and glory. Bless all whose lives are closely linked with ours. Grant that we may serve Christ in them and love one another as Christ loves us. Comfort and heal all who suffer in body, mind, or spirit. Give them courage and hope in their troubles. Bring them the joy of your salvation. For the unemployed, especially Bill and Robert, James and Brian. For the sick, especially Stephen Michael and Melody. And for a cure for cancer. For those recovering from spur surgery, especially Don. For the aged and the infirm, especially Marjorie and Judith. We commend to your mercy all who have died, that your will for them may be fulfilled especially George and Louise, Sarah, Howard, Billy, Lloyd, Lawrence, Stephen, Margaret, Dwight, Dan, Joanne, Hugh, Charles, Thomas, Wayne, Martin, Kevin, Philip, David, Ramon, Ivan, Joseph, Benedict, Miriam, Suzanne, Walter, Arthur, Robert, Patrick, Stephen, Edward, and John, William, David. And we pray that we may share with them and with St. Francis and St. Clair and all your saints in your eternal kingdom. We pray for the mercy of God community, that it may continue to rush towards Christ, that God who's begun this ministry may bring it to fulfillment. For the intentions of all who've asked our prayers and for all of your intentions. Our beloved in heaven, holy your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us as we forgive others. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Let us pray. Gracious God, we pray for your holy Catholic Church. Fill it with all truth, in all truth and with all peace. Where it is corrupt, purify it where it is an error, direct it, where in anything it is amiss, reform it, where it is right, strengthen it, where it is in want, provide for it, and where it is divided, reunite it, for the sake of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Bless Yahweh, my soul, and glory to God whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus, now and forever. Amen. Alleluia.